What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi Yes, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle people. Today, I've got five reasons why the Nova Rope should be the next jump rope in your bag. Check this out. Welcome back guys. Okay, I'm gonna make this short and sweet, okay, because there's loads more to come out on the Nova Rope. The pre-order is gonna hopefully come live in February, okay? I don't have a date, but just keep that in mind. I just wanted to show you guys what this rope is all about. It's gonna come in, I think, five or six colorways. Let me show you live action, guys, how this thing sounds. This is kind of like the raw sound of the Nova Rope. And we're just gonna take a little chill skip out here. That's beautiful. We're gonna step into it. The first point I wanna mention, guys, is the versatility of this rope. Now, the main weight of this rope, the kind of rough approximate guide is 250 grams. So it fits right in between the legacy and the money rope, okay? Now, this is a really ideal weight boundary. And the reason why I love this is because it's gonna allow you guys to not only kind of do those speed sessions, right? So you're not gonna get burnt out as quick. It's gonna allow you to kind of have those freestyle moves, those tricks, those amazing, beautiful combinations that we show you on this channel. But also, if you wanna kind of push your limits, kind of get that intensity, build that stamina, you have that in this rope as well, okay? So that versatility, that 250 grams, the feel of this rope, how it moves, is gonna allow you guys to take your training to another dimension, which is why the Nova Rope, if you guys do some Google research on it, I'll tell you what, go do the Google research after this video, you'll realize why it's called the Nova Rope. Enter the new dimension. Second point is handling and comfort. Now this carries all the trademark, hallmark feels of our RA rope. And we cut no corners when it comes to building and creating new rope handles and molds, okay? Now, what I talk about when I mention handling and comfort is really how this rope fits in your hands. Now, every rope has its own characteristics in the RA lineup, okay? This is the seventh line of rope that I've created. And this one, the way it feels, the way it kind of has that balance in your hands. It's not too big, it's not too clunky, it's not too thin. So it makes sure that you guys can really maneuver this thicker cable around when you're skipping, right? Now, like I mentioned, this is all about versatility now. Ergonomics, handling, the balance, the sort of weight of the rope, how it feels in your hands is so important when it comes to skipping. And that's why this rope has taken close to eight to nine months just to develop the prototype and test it all out. Ultimately, it has a covered or sort of like a kind of overlay grip with 3D branding. Again, we're trying to combat those things that we heard about kind of previously when people said they get sweaty palms or things kind of just feeling a little bit slippery. This now is our first rope that has a fully covered layer of kind of rubberized grip, okay? We've got something similar with Ignite rope, but this one is as clean as it gets, okay? And the logos and everything else, how it looks, it's really, really clean. So that's point number two, handling and comfort. Moving on to point number three, and that leads me on to the aesthetics and the look of this rope. Now, something very different about the Nova rope, guys, is that it has three different types of molds, okay? What I mean by that is that most generic ropes out there on the market only have one mold, so it's just one rope or one handle, and that's it. Sick, got someone knocking on the door right now. We can't take no calls. We can't take no calls. We're talking about the Nova rope. Everything about this rope is just screaming slick and just, smooth and just sexy. That didn't sound good today. <laughs> that sounded so dumb. Smooth and sexy. Smooth and sexy. That's not smooth and sexy. Right? Most ropes out there, okay, most generic ropes out there have one mold. And what I mean by that is when you're creating a rope, right, a rope handle, it just has one form. It goes in the machine, kind of PVC or the plastic or the nylon resin goes over the top of it, it creates one handle. Whereas this one has been created with three different molds. Now we have an end cap, which is something really new for this kind of rope, which means that it conceals the actual vinyl inside the rope. Then we've got this top cap now, which actually unscrews, and I'll show you just like this. This is exactly, and we'll come to this point as well. This is a really new factor and, and piece of this. That unscrews, and that's gonna be how you basically size the rope, which will be another point. But ultimately, what I'm trying to get with this, guys, is just the way it looks in hand. When you're skipping with this thing, and like I already mentioned, how it feels in your hands, this is a head turner. When someone comes to you in the gym and asks you what rope you're using, especially when you're just smashing it, you're getting the freestyle game out, you're getting the skills out, you're getting those 
amazing run crossovers, those double under crosses, etc., etc. When you're doing that at intensity and speed, the thicker cable is just gonna look so nice and clean, especially if you're someone who likes to kind of record your videos on Instagram. But ultimately, when you look at these handles, this just screams premium. And like I said, it's taken a long time to create this thing, over eight to nine months. And um, I'm really proud of it, man. And I think you guys are gonna love it too. Point number four, guys, is actually the sizing. Now, we just mentioned this in the last point, but this is a really new feature as well, right? Because with the legacy rope, someone who's got that heavy rope, um, you guys will know you pull the rope out of the back of the handle. In this case, you can't do that because we've got this end cap, which is all kind of, again, customized. It looks very clean. On this one, you're gonna unscrew the top just like this and you're gonna basically pull the rope out. And this thread is very clean as well, man. So it kind of unscrews really cleanly, very easily. You take the rope out and we've got these new clips. These new clips basically come off and on so simple. It literally, like that. The older clips, for example, like the older ones, you'd have to kind of use a bit of kind of fingernail power to kind of unscrew it. And then all you just do is just roll that up and down just like that and that is ready to basically resize. So I really love the fact that you can size this rope up in a really different way. It's clean, it's effective, and it basically makes sure that you guys, when you're training and when you're trying to, again, adjust things for your ropes, or when you get it out of the box, you're ready to go. There's no faffing around. Another key point as well is you can use knots, which is what I've got in the, in the rope right now. And that's really important for me because someone like me, I like to have the feel of knots. Like with the legacy rope, it's a little bit too thick, so you can't really kind of knot it. I know I've seen people knot it in the past, but this one you can knot, and again, just get it out of the box, you're ready to go, but then you can also make sure that you tinker with your sizing. Fifth and final point, this could be the most important thing of them all, right? Now there's ropes out there that do cost a lot of money, um, some that are cheap as well, of course, that are just not meant for kind of beginners or not so suitable for advanced. This rope right now, the Nova rope guys, has been perfectly designed to make sure that it fits all levels, beginners, intermediates, advanced. And the reason why I say that, okay, is that the weighting of 250 grams plus mixed in with the ergonomics, the handling, like I said, the feel of it in your hands, this thing is actually gonna allow you to get better at skipping. And the reason why I say it is this, because when you've got a, a rope that's really light, like a speed rope, for example, sometimes some beginners struggle with this because the rope just goes around too quickly for them. Like you can look at it on the other side, if you get someone that starts with the legacy rope, it's too heavy for them. They don't have the strength or the stamina, they're not ready for it, but that will give them the feedback that they need to kind of keep things slower. However, this thing, right, sitting at 250 grams, the ideal weight, like I said to you, to make sure that you can actually respond to the rope. So when I mean respond, it's like you're skipping, your rope's moving around you, you get that feeling, that sensation of where that rope is exactly in the revolution, which allows you to time your jumps perfectly. So I reckon, well, I don't reckon, I know this is gonna make you guys a lot more better if you're a beginner and if you're someone who's advanced, it's again gonna allow you to build your strength, get that intensity in your workout, look sick on videos, have that lovely feeling in your hands, allow you guys to do tricks and just look boss while you use this thing. What to mention whilst I'm showing you a little rundown is that your handle mouth. This is really important when you're making ropes, okay? This is the really key part because you wanna make sure that your rope can rotate smoothly. The way the rope moves around, the way it slingshots around you, again, it has that feel of a speed rope, but at the same time, you know you're working with a heavier rope as well. That's why you get that hybrid feel. And ultimately, you can just maneuver it like you would with a speed rope. And it'll just feel so nice and clean in your hand. I'm dead. Guys, thank you so much again for supporting this channel. Be up to Nathan behind the camera. This is his last day doing a video for me, unfortunately. Boo. <laughs> it was an amazing, amazing weekend just, just gone. We just opened Fly City. We're ready to drop this bad boy on you. Dates are coming very soon. Go check my links, subscribe to a newsletter, follow me on Instagram, do all the good things. Give this video a big like and just, yeah, help me continue to grow this movement. Every single one of you just doing amazing things out there. Keep sharing your journey. Love you all. I'll see you in the next video. As always, don't forget to leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys think of this first off. See you soon. Peace. <laughs> Wait, that's not the Take care of yourself. That's not the outro. <laughs> I'll let you do it, bro. Alright. So without further ado, take, take care of yourself. yourself. Skip the treadmill. Stay, stay safe. Stay safe. Peace. Is that stay safe? This stay guy, this safe. guy's done like a million videos of me. One more time, bro. Come on, we've got this. Alright. Without further ado, take, take care of yourself. yourself. Skip stay. the treadmill. <laughs> stay. Without further ado, take, take care, care of yourself. yourself. Skip stay. the chub. <laughs> Skip the treadmill. Skip the treadmill. You had it. You had it better yeah, than me yeah, the first yeah. time. All right. Without further ado, 
Take care of yourself. Skip the treadmill. Stay safe. Peace. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Well, put your lips on mine and love the end of days now.